is here tonight. <laughs> Frankly, it is great to be back. John Stewart kicked things off last night. He worked one day, now he's taking a well-deserved break until next week. <laughs> but the campaign continues, and so do we with Indecision 2024. Now, for once, the big news in the GOP primary is not about Donald Trump. It's about Nikki Haley and what Donald Trump said about her. Former President Trump taking heat for questioning why Nikki Haley's husband has not been with her on the campaign trail. Where's her husband? Oh, he's away. He's away. Where, what happened to her husband? What happened to her husband? Where is he? He's gone. Your husband, Michael, uh, is a major with the South Carolina Army National Guard, currently deployed in the Horn of Africa. It's disgusting. And let's take it and, and move me and Michael out of it. If you're going to go and criticize a combat veteran, you criticize one veteran, you're criticizing all of them. Wow. Now, that is the spine of a leader. Someone who will stand up for our troops when Donald Trump attacks them. I mean... Not John McCain or uh, <laughs> or the Gold Star family. She she worked for Trump after that. But but if you go after a troop that Nikki Haley is married to, that is where she draws a very specific line. <laughs> now, Haley's obviously been hitting this very hard, and honestly, I don't blame her for milking this. The only time the media gives her attention is when Donald Trump is roasting her. In fact, if I were Nikki Haley, I'd text Trump like, Hey, Donnie, uh, check out this pic of my son's weird overbite. <laughs> Send. But this whole thing might be a misunderstanding. Now, I don't want to be a Trump defender. One, because he never pays his defense bills. But <laughs> I honestly don't think he was trying to insult her husband's service. He was just trying to maliciously insinuate that their marriage is collapsing. So, Nikki... I think you owe him an apology. <laughs> but if you are going to engage, Nikki, don't just do this, how dare you, have you no decency thing, because he doesn't. <laughs> We've seen this. You can't take the high road with Donald Trump. That off-ramp has been closed since 2016. <laughs> if he goes after your missing husband, you go after his missing wife. <laughs> yes. Get the gloves off. Take them off. Something like, I'm not surprised you can't keep track of one spouse, Donald, since two already left you. Boom! <laughs> Donald, why is it easier to spot a classified document at Mar-a-Lago than the mother of your children? <laughs> Boom! Turns out the only way your wife would spend time with you is if you golfed on the hole where you buried her. So, <laughs> just spitball in here, guys.